Hey everybody, John Hanlon here. Well, if you're wondering what we do when we are not shooting Lego videos, well, I'm in Germany, there's a Lamborghini. We are gonna ride on the Autobahn, one of the only roads in the world without a speed limit. So let's see how fast we can get going. So we just finished the ride on the Autobahn. I've got Benedict here. He was uh, in the passenger seat with me. So we hit 225 kilometers an hour. Uh, so got up there pretty quick. Uh, is that faster than you expected? Yes, very nice, very nice. Yeah, so we were, we were a little worried about traffic on the Autobahn. It's about, uh, what, noon, uh, 12 p.m. right now or so. Uh, so the traffic wasn't too bad. We got up, uh, got up pretty fast. <laughs> Big thanks to Motion Drive for making this experience possible. And full disclosure, they did give us a discount on the ride in exchange for our honest review and for making this video. If you are a foreign visitor and looking to possibly take a supercar out on the Autobahn, it's obviously a once in a lifetime opportunity, but you pay a pretty penny for that opportunity. Motion Drive offers various packages depending on the length of your ride and where exactly you want to go. Some of them don't go on the Autobahn, they just go on roads that have speed limits. But the prices range from 300 euros or $350 for the very cheapest option, all the way up to a whopping 15,000 euros or $17,500 for the most expensive option. And their website is not the most intuitive. Unfortunately, you can't just go on and fill out a form if you want to if you want to go through and, and do this. You have to send them an email. And there was a little bit of a language barrier. They do speak English, but as an American uh, communicating with them over email, I sensed a bit of a language barrier. There were a few times where I was trying to communicate and it, it didn't feel like it was fully getting through or they were trying to say something that I wasn't understanding. So just keep that in mind as you are emailing with them because that's the way all of the information, the details of this will be set up. And be careful also about availability of the cars. So in my sp situation, we had to go meet out in Magdeburg, uh, which is a great city, but it was not where I was staying and where I had initially hoped to pick the car up. We had to go out to Magdeburg because the Lamborghini was not available anywhere else. So just be careful about that as well. Make sure that they have the car available on the dates that, that you need. And payment was a little confusing as well. They had originally told me that there was a, I could either pay by credit card or a wire transfer. And if I paid by credit card, there was going to be a 9% fee on top of the cost. But then as we communicated a little more, they said, okay, you can just do cash. And so that's how I ended up paying and that saved the 9% credit card fee. So that's worth clarifying as well, exactly how you will be paying for the ride. And if you're not going to be in Germany, but you want to experience something like this ride, check out some racetracks. There are actually some racetracks here in the United States and maybe where you live as well. 
where you can take a Ferrari or a Lamborghini out on the racetrack and race it around. Now, it's not the Autobahn, uh, it's not an unlimited speed limit, but if you uh, don't happen to be in Germany, it might be worth checking out. But overall, it's obviously a fantastic experience to take a supercar out on the Autobahn in Germany, drive it around, unlimited speeds. As you saw in the video, uh, we were a little bit prohibited by traffic. I could only get going so fast because the until I would come across another car, but still got up there pretty fast. If you have any questions about the process or how it works, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching.